In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a user registration and login page using just one awesome free plugin, Forminator. Forminator is jam-packed full of premium features, which other plugins charge you for, and we're going to use some of them to set up our registration and login forms. Just to round up what we'll go over in this video, first we will create a registration form, then a login form. After that, it's just a matter of adding the forms to a couple of pages. If you're starting from scratch with a clean install of WordPress, we will need to add a few things before you get started. The website I'm working on has the Astra theme installed, along with Elemental, and I've added a theme template too, for this demo. Once that's done, we can download and activate Forminator. This is Forminator, and from the dash, you can see all the forms you have created, whether they are live or in a draft state. You can also see how they're doing by clicking on the stats button. So it's really quick and easy to get where you need to be. And that's what we try to do with all of our products. I'm going to create the registration form first. The way we recommend you do this is by clicking on the create a new form and then selecting the registration form template. This template sets us up quite nicely but I want to make some additions. There are loads of fields we can add to this user registration. We could choose to add a file upload field if we want the user to upload an image, video, or document. We can even choose the file type and max file size. If we were building a membership website, we could also add a payment field to this form and charge a registration fee. For this site, I want the user to enter both their first and last name for their profile. And because I want them to have to enter these, I will mark them as required. And you can do that by going to the field settings. A great feature of Forminator is that fields can be dragged and dropped to reorganize them. And you can also click preview at any point to see how it will look. Under the appearance tab, we can make all the changes to the design we need. Choose the overall style of the form, colors, fonts and padding, along with any custom styling too. I usually leave the appearance settings until I have everything working as I want it. Then I change these settings to fit with the website design. In the user registration settings, we are first going to select the first name and last name in the meta map area, so that this info helps build the user profile. You can also select the role you want the user to be assigned if you want them to be assigned something different from the default one that has been set in WordPress. As well as being activated straight away, we also have the choice to send an email to the user first so they can activate from the email address they entered. And also, we can select a manual activation where the site admin activates each user registration. We want to also make sure that we auto log in this user when they activate. And to let them know that they are logged in, we will choose to hide the login form and show them a message. Let's take a look at submission behavior. Here we can choose what happens after the user submits the form. The default is set to inline message and this will show a short message to confirm the form submission. Another option is to redirect to a URL. This is a good option if you want to have a thank you page set up after someone registers or want to direct the user to a specific page on your site. You can also simply hide the form after submission too. There are countless email notifications that you can set up for this form, but the one I'm going to set up is a user confirmation email. You can make it as in-depth as you like, but I just want the user to know that they are now registered, so we'll keep this email short. With Forminator, you get the option to integrate with over a thousand apps. Some of the most popular connections are to Zapier, MailChimp, or HubSpot. Why you would want to integrate with any apps can be down to your individual situation. For this website, our end goal is to have the user be a member of this site with access to exclusive content and feel like they are getting value in their sign up. One way to do that is to send their sign up data to a marketing app where we can then send them promos and newsletters that go straight into their inbox. It's another way to connect to them when they're not on site 
and keeps them engaged. So we'll save this form and move to the Integrations tab. Here we can connect any apps that we have accounts with. For this site, I will connect a MailChimp account. We can then go back to our form and add the integration there. After we've done that, we now move on to settings, and settings revolve around what we do with the data when it's collected. So you can choose to customize or disable the default settings for data storage. I'm going to leave them as they are. And now at this point, we can now choose to save this form as a draft or publish it. By publishing it, you'll be able to embed it anywhere and start taking submissions. Next up, the login form. To create this form, we'll go through a similar process. First, create a new form using the login template and give it a name. Similarly to the registration form, you want to use a login template as it's been specifically designed for that purpose. As part of this template, both the username and password fields are added to this form automatically. As with the previous form, you can change all the appearance settings to suit your style. Moving over to the user login settings, we get similar options to the registration form, but we do get another option to show me a remember me field. In the additional settings, we can choose to hide or show the login form after the user is logged in. If you hide the form, you can also add a message for the user to let them know that they are logged in, and that's what we will do. Now we'll move to behavior and look what happens after the user logs in. After the user enters their details and hits the login button, we can choose what they see. They can either see an inline message to say that they have logged in, we can redirect them to a landing page by entering a URL, or we can simply hide the form. I like to get the user to where they want to be quickly, so adding a URL for me is the best option for this site. I won't touch any other settings on this form just to keep it simple. Publish the form and we're ready to add it to the site. So now we want to add the forms to the website and where we add them depends on where you want the users to see the login and registration forms. For this site, I want to add them to separate pages, then they will be added to the navigation menu and that way the user can find them easily. So first, I'll add a new page and name it Sign Up. Then launch Elementor. The first thing to do here is to drop in a column so we can add a form to it. Then we'll drop in the Forminator widget, which can be found in the WordPress widget area. It's then just as simple as selecting the registration form from the drop down and adding any styling you want to this widget. We can now publish the page and see what it will look like. As you're currently logged in, you will see the message to let you know you're logged in. If you copy the page URL and paste it into a private browsing window, you'll be able to see what the design looks like without logging out. Now we can use the same method to create a login page too and embed the form. So we'll do that and speed up the process. Now we have our two pages created, we can add them to our menu and we are ready for people to sign up and log in. You may want to go back and change the appearance settings so that the form fits perfectly with your style of website or if you're into customising things a little more, throw in some custom CSS. Forminator is a really versatile plugin that gets used in so many different ways and we love to hear how you use it and if you have any features you would like to see. Be sure to drop us a comment on social media and let us know. Give Forminator a try for free on your website and be amazed at what it can do.